Welcome back to our channel. So today's video, guys, ayan. So gagawa tayo ng reaction video, which is about ito sa ano culture. Uh, and then this is also uh, related to the pageant, which is panore natin yung video ni Amanda Oldham explaining about the Mimis culture. So. Panoorin muna natin yung video ni ano ni Amanda Ogdam no na about sa culture. Ang topic niya nito is about uh, I think is a cyberbullying. Yeah, about this. Okay. Uh, let's go. My first ever issue of the day I talked about the meme culture and the general topic of it. But today I want to dig a little bit deeper and talk about how a meme gets turned into cyberbullying. Oh. Bullying oh, is never memes. acceptable and should never be tolerated. And speaking from someone that had been turned into a meme myself that sometimes hurt my feelings, I got through it by loving myself and not letting it affect my self-esteem. Now, I see many solutions to this. First, don't condone to the act of bullying. Stop using the meme. Secondly, don't do something you don't want to be done to yourself respect other human beings. And thirdly, for social media platforms to have rules and regulations regarding cyberbullying. Remember, our action have consequences. Na yan. Our action have a consequences. And then, you don't tolerate cyberbullying. Respect human being. Ayan. So talaga sa ano, minsan kasi nakakasakit na talaga yung ano, yung iba na ano, na super na yung ano na yung pambubuli nila sa social media. And then, yung iba, ano kasi yung iba, eh, below the belt na kapag nang bubuli, tinitira ka na nila yung ano, yung personality mo, yung pagkatao mo, yung physical appearance mo, yung iba na, babadi shaming pa. Ay, nako. So, ayan. So, we're going to watch the uh, Rabia Mateo, our Miss Universe Philippines, which is explaining about the culture. Ang uh, kanya, cancel culture. What is your take on cancel culture? You know what? Things have been really been worse, especially in social media, with the differences when it comes to the beliefs and the opinions that we have, especially in the context of politics and what is happening in our society. That's why this cancel culture has arrived. And my take on this one is that we need to have this boundary of universal respect. That despite the differences in terms of what we believe in or how we see things, we know that we'll be able to have a more tolerable and acceptable society. And with that being said, I think that if there's universal respect, it's gonna lead to a peaceful society. Bravo. Tara. Maganda <laughs> talaga yun. Dito, sa kay Rabia Meteo is na elaborate niya talaga ng explain what is about cancel culture. So, in general talaga, we need to respect each other, especially on our, uh, like example, yung, ano, yung explanation natin yun, yung mga opinions. So, i-respect na natin yung mga opinions sa ibang tao. Kasi, ano, uh, we are in uh, uh, freedoms, uh, repub ano ba yan, democratic country. So, meron tayong, ano, meron tayong freedom of speech, no? So, i ano, respect na natin yung mga opinions ng mga ibang tao. Especially in politics. Mayroong iba kasi, maano sila sa mga politiko, yung mga, ano, nila, mga mga political views nila mga ganun. and then the general of that is respect to each other and ayan, respect natin yung mga opinion basta in general is we need to respect yun lang yun ganun. and then comment below guys kung sino yung sa palagay ninyo ano I think they are both explaining the about that topic no na ano 
na explain naman nila ng mabuti and for that is yeah. so thank you guys for watching see you on my next vlog